I already gone this way. Hmm. Hey, this is where we just were. I'm sorry, sir. This location is not open to the general public. I'll just be leaving now. Phew, he must not have gotten word about me yet. Exactly. Well... Let's try and go back into... Well, never mind. I thought we were going back into Lash, but no. So I says to him, Look, pal, if you want to get past me, no questions asked, it's going to cost you some cribs. Is that legal, though? Why wouldn't it be? Little personal taxes like this keep the agency running smoothly. See, you've only just signed up and you've learned something. Agency intern. <laughs> Wait a second, Talon. We can't just walk up to that checkpoint and ask to be let through. Hmm, maybe not. I thought we might be able to give them a few credits to let us through. I think on most days that would work, but not today and not for you. Your picture must be everywhere by now. We need to cross this bridge somehow. Pa Paradise is to the southwest, on the other side of the river. Don't give up yet, I have an idea. No, I think I'll just give up. Let's see here. What if we cross underneath? Well, let's do that. I don't remember what happens if you choose the other... I don't remember what happens if you choose the other option, but... It's not, um... Uh, I don't think that they let you. As I recall in this section, there's... Yes. There are tiles that do that. Or maybe it's all left to chance, I can't remember. But the way that it goes is if you trigger too many of those things, then a battle starts. And it's usually pretty easy, except for you get very tired of fighting these security bots after a while. Let me tell you, you really do. Security walker prepares to attack. Automatic battle. Um... Jamming enter is a faster way of doing this than automatic battle, I wouldn't know. I know that it actually lets you skip messages in it. Hmm. You found defensive matrix exclamation zero. Hmm. I can't remember what all these things do, and I think that some of them don't even do anything. I think that other ones were actually meant for the later game, because at the later game, once you beat the game, they ask you, do you want to save for the next, um... For the next game, which is actually going to be on a different engine, so it doesn't actually matter. But I think that the way that it was supposed to work is stuff that happens in this save, then you can take with you to the next game, and you can continue off as where you were. It would be a cool thing, except for it never happened. And these guys get really annoying if you don't know where you're going. And I don't know where I'm going. And I think I'm going to be needing to fight them a lot. At least I can just keep jamming enter. Uh, come on. And spacebar. I don't even know what my health is right now, and I might need to recover from it soon. But, let's keep going. Yeah. Yeah, see what I'm talking about? Oh gee, I, I, I do need to recover. Cold sandwich. Man. 30 HP, okay. I forgot that the HP isn't inflated like in some games. You can tell it's just 30,000 damage every time that you take a hit. But. Overall, this just takes a very long time. And I've already lost 30 HP, even though I gained it back, so... And I'm... That would be the wrong way to go. See how long it's been since I played this? Long, long time. Hey, at least I got a lot of HP that's... I think that's the 60 HP restoring one. But since I have cold sandwiches, I don't really need it. Man. Actually, I'm really not very far along in this, am I? All right. Hmm. I could do a round of gambling, which the... Actually, why don't I just do that for... 
Let's see here. Gamble for credits. <laughs> we lost 10 credits. What? I still find that really, really funny that you can just initiate a round of gambling and then the... The enemy will just say, oh yeah, sure, let's play. And the fact is, it's like a security drone actually has credits. Come on. Oh well. It's pretty funny, though. I, I remember if you get all of these things, then it takes even longer to do. But hey, we're not in any hurry, except for the fact that every second to this thing is taking up like 50 megabytes of space. Yeah, really. Remember when I said that this isn't compressed video at all? It, it's not. Come on. Man, I'm sure that I've got a better weapon or something. I just haven't equipped it and that's why it's taking me so long. Because I remember at the end of the game then you start doing attacks that have much, much higher HP. And maybe it's just because I'm bashing the enemy. Let, let's see what type of equipment I have right now. Um, I have really bad equipment. Let's see here. Um, yeah, maybe I am with optimal equipment. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, I really haven't gotten far, have I? Actually, I'm not sure if that does anything. Those shaking tiles. Oh, three security walkers now. Should I take a potion? Uh, a cold sandwich, I mean. Arden never seems to get hit. It's only me. Yeah, she, she has really good agility. An excellent attack. 37 HP. You know, in the beginning, most of these games, you'll see something like 37 attack or something like... Maybe in the very beginning, you'll see 10 attack or something, and you're used to, like, 3 attack, and then you'll be like, Oh, man, 10 attack. That's such a good attack. I can't believe this, you know, because you're... For... If all you've ever seen since the beginning of the game is, like, 10 attack or... No, 3 attack or 2, then 10 attack, that's, like, a lot of stuff. You know, that's serious. You're... You're really on top of everything, but then near the end of the game, it's like 200 attack, and then you're like, oh, well, only 200 attack. And then you get 500 attack, and then you'll be like, oh, man, oh, wow, 500 attack, or say like 700 or 1,000. It's kind of like in Pokemon, if you've ever played, and I'm sure anybody who's watching this has played Pokemon at least once in their life. Or if they haven't, they've heard of it at least. Uh, Oh man, I forgot that we had a poison attack, but it's too bad it does nothing and it costs power points. Yeah, skill points as they're called. I never understood why drinking cheap wine would upgrade your skill points, but... Oh well. 27 HP, but yeah, yeah. Hmm, the inflation of these things. Uh-oh, wow. Wow, I really gotta... I really gotta... Yeah. I really gotta give her a cold sandwich. Good. Good. Yeah, yeah, skill points. Mm. And she's almost out of skill points. Same thing with experience, you know, like two experience gains or something at the beginning, and then at the end it's like a thousand experience and it doesn't give you anything. I never really used very many reviving things until the very end. Phew, we're safely past the checkpoint. Yeah, let's go back. It looks like the agency has given up on its blockade of the bridge. Woohoo. Yay! All we need to do is go past that once. Now let's see here. I think that there's a town out here somewhere. There's Lash again. Do we want to go back? You know, these enemies here really never have any explanation, you know? The overworld en enemies. I don't know. I feel like they probably weren't made for the game. They were probably just made as part of a s sprite pack or something. Actually, I think everything wasn't made for this game. Like, all the music and stuff, if you look back at it, none of it was actually used for the, ga for the game or made for the game. It was just adapted. 
Shell loss compares to prepares to attack. Hmm. Six health lost. What am I doing on my HP? I guess I'm good for these types of enemies. But combat has resulted in victory. Bottled water skill points. I guess anything that you drink gives you skill points, whether it's wine or water. Let's see here. Man, is that one of those water in this bucket is amazing things? No, it's not. I just lost some major credits on the battle rink. This encampment is a lot different from here. Get out of here, punk. It's scary how much like lash this is. Well, not quite. Actually, wait, aren't we on the battle rink side quest? I think we are. Yeah. The worker from the mines is perfect for making the iron from the mines, not the worker. The worker says that the iron from the mines is perfect. Yes. Hmm. I don't think these guys have much to say. Battle circuit, battle rink, agency caravans. Yeah. Wait a second, what? Tangle forest. There's something funny about that place. Get out of here, says the bearded man. The worker. The ale here tastes like motor oil, but there's plenty of it, so who am I to complain? Well, I guess not. Hmm. And the drinking man says, leave me alone. Large man says, three asterisks, and the battle rink is a great place to lose money if you're not careful. Yep. Anyways, you just talk to all these people in the town, and... Paradise, never heard of it. It's not here, that's for sure. Only 150 credits to rest here. Might as well do it. 